Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to give an overview on product features. Product features are groups of product options within a product bundle. They can be used to organize options into set groups. In my recent video on product options, we saw on the configure products page that there were various sections listed on the page. Each of those sections represented product features and the product options were listed underneath. Just in case you haven't seen that video yet, this is the configure products page I'm referring to. Processor, memory, and storage are all product features. Some of the benefits of product features are they can help improve the user experience when configuring a product bundle, they can control what's being sold, and product features can also set minimum and maximum product options that can be selected for a product bundle, which prevents the users from selecting too few or too many product options when configuring the bundle. Now that we have a better understanding of what a product feature actually is, we're next going to create a new product feature from our 13 inch laptop bundle. So I'll navigate back to that product record. If you wanna follow along, all you have to do is click on this products tab and search for 13 inch laptop. So from the 13 inch laptop product record, we'll navigate to the related tab. As you can see, there's a features related list. Before I go ahead and create a new feature, I just wanted to point out this number column just remember that there's a 10, 20, and 30. So let's go ahead and click the new button. So the first thing that we have to input is the feature name. We're going to go ahead and name this feature accessories. Like many products, laptops have accessories. So this product feature will have laptop accessories as the product options underneath. Next, we have the number field. As I pointed out before I click the new button, all of the existing features have a number. The numbers were 10, 20, and 30. The number field determines the order in which the features will be displayed on the configure products page. Since we already have those three features, I'm going to set the number of this feature to 40. If you're not sure why we increment by 10, I explain that in further detail in my product options video. So setting this number to 40 will put this accessories feature at the bottom of the configure products page. If we move on to min options, the min options field represents the minimum number of options for this feature that must be a part of the product bundle. It automatically defaults to a value of one, and I'm going to keep it this way for this example. I'm not going to set a max options, but if I did have a value in this field, it would represent the maximum number of options that could be selected within this feature. So for example, if you only wanted a user to select one option per feature, you would set this max options to one, which would prevent the user from selecting any more than one option. The configured SKU is our 13 inch laptop, this will always pre-populate if you create the feature from the related list on the product record. The only time you'll ever need to fill this in is if you're creating a product feature outside of the product record. If we move on to the option selection method, if we click on this, you'll see that we have a value of none, click, add, and dynamic. This is optional to select, but I'll briefly go over the options. If we selected click, it would present checkboxes next to the product options. Then we have add, which will render a button which brings up predefined options. And lastly, we have dynamic, which renders a button which brings up all active products. I'm gonna leave this field set to none, but feel free to test the different option selection methods when creating additional product features. If we move on to the category field, the value of this field assigns the feature to a category such that multiple features with related options are grouped together. I'm going to leave this blank as well since our other product features for this product also have this field empty. We don't have any discount schedules currently set up, so I'm going to go ahead and skip this field. I'm also going to skip the remaining fields because these last three are much more complex topics that I plan to cover in later videos. So from here, we can go ahead and click save. Now that we've created our product feature, we're going to next add a product option to relate to our new feature. To do this, I'm going to click on the new button on the options related list. In the optional SKU field, I'm going to type in mouse and then select mouse since computer mouses are common accessories for laptops. Since this is our first product option for this feature, we can set the number field to 10. I'm going to leave the selected checkbox unchecked since we want this to be an optional add-on product. If we move on to the feature field, we're going to type accessories and select accessories. We'll set the quantity field to one. For the type field, we're going to change this from component to accessory. For quantity editable, we'll go ahead and check that. We check this field just in case the customer wants to buy more than one. And then everything else we're gonna leave blank, so we'll go ahead and click save. So now that we've configured our product feature and associated it with a product option, let's check out the results. So we'll go ahead and navigate to the quotes tab. We can go ahead and select any quote. From the quote record, we'll click on edit lines to open up the quote line editor. Then we'll go ahead and click add products. From here, we'll search 13-inch laptop. 
and then select 13 inch laptop click select as you can see, our accessories product feature is now present on the configure products page and also displays the mouse product option that we added to this accessory feature. If we select this product option, you can see that we have the ability to change the quantity, unlike the product options in some of these other features. So to recap, product features provide a way to organize groups of product options within a product bundle in Salesforce CPQ. So that's all I have for this video. Thank you all for watching today and I'll see you in the next video.